Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Maximum Points You Can Obtain From Cards. In this question, we are given several cards arranged in a row and each card has an associated number of points. The points are given in the integer array. In one step, we can take one card from the beginning or from the end of the row and you have to take exactly k cards. Your score is the sum of the points of the cards you have taken. So we need to return the maximum score that we can obtain. In the first example, we can see that the k is equals to 3. So we can take 3 cards from the end and hence the output will be maximum 12. And similarly in the rest of the examples. So now let's first try to understand what this question is about and how we can solve it. So suppose this is the input array given to us and the k is equals to 3. That means we need to select exactly 3 cards from this array starting from either from the beginning or from the end in order to make the maximum sum. So as we know that in this case the maximum sum is if we take the cards starting from the end that will make the sum is equals to 12 which is the maximum that we can make by picking up three cards with the given conditions. Now let's change one of the values that is the value at 0th index becomes 10. Now in this case what will be the answer? In this case we need to pick one card from the beginning and two cards from the end in order to make a maximum sum of 17. With these two examples, you must be clear with what the question is about and how we need to proceed further. Now, let's take the two examples that we discussed side by side and find out what are the similarities between the two examples. The length of the two array are the same. The k is the same for them, but not the result as the one value at the start of this array has been changed to a much higher value which changes the result. The number of cards picked from the two arrays are the same which is equals to k which is 3 and so are the number of cards which are not picked from this array. So here the main intuition is what we can use of these unused or unpicked cards that we can get the result of the picked cards. So the number of non-picked cards in these two arrays are equals to 4 which can be found out by 7 minus 3 is 4 where 7 is the total length of the array, 3 is the k. So n minus k is 4 in this case. Now we can find out the total sum of the array at the top is equal to 31 and if we find out the maximum point that we can get from this array it will be equal to 31 minus 14 which is 17 where 14 is the sum of the non-pegged cards 31 being the sum of the total number of cards when we apply the same logic on the below array as well we get the same result that is the total sum is 22 max point will be 12 which is 22 minus 10 10 being the sum of the unpegged cards and by the condition given with the problem, we can see that these unpicked cards will be in a contiguous sequence. So we need to find a contiguous subarray in this array which gives us a minimum sum. This subarray should be of length n minus k. We can subtract that value from the total sum and get the maximum sum that we can get by picking up exactly k cards. So now it's time to code this particular approach. So as discussed, we need to find out the sum of this whole array so we will have a sum variable so let's first find out that so we have the sum with us now we need to find out the result so we will have this answer variable which will initially be 0 and then we need the sum of the window n minus k so we will name that variable as window and we will have that as 0 initially so we'll declare a variable n which will be the length of the card points array. So now in the example as we know that the window will be of length 4. We will first find out from the 0th index n minus k minus 1 that is in this case length of 3 which we will store in a temporary sum. So we'll code this wherein we'll start from the 0th index till n minus k minus 1 incrementing this sum of window. So once we have this temporary sum which in this case will be initially 15 we need to make this window equals to n minus k length that is 4. So we will add one more value this will be in a next loop. We will add this value make this value as 19 the temporary sum and now we need to find out what will be the sum of the remaining values 
and we will take that into the answer which is equals to the maximum of the answer and the total sum minus sum of n minus k window which comes out to be 12 in this case. Once we have found out this max value, we need to again shorten up this window so that we can at the next iteration add one more value. So we will shorten up by removing the starting index value from this temporary sum making it now 9 and then we again add the value find out the answer which is the maximum which now becomes 70 and again remove the value from the start. So now let's write that. So we now we will start off from the index from where we left that is n minus k minus 1 going till the last index. We need to add the value in this window to make it equal to length n minus k. Now we will find out the maximum which will be max of the answer and total sum minus the window. And now we need to shorten up this window by subtracting the value at the start index of this window and that will be i minus n minus k minus 1. At the end we just need to return the answer. Now there can be condition where n and k are both equal. In that case we need not to perform any logic and we can directly return sum in that case. So if n is equals to k we can return sum directly as we are picking up all the cards present in this array. This completes the coding part. Now let's try to run this code for all the sample test cases. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.